becomes an epic battle between the forces of good and those of evil. The battle between G.I. Joe and Cobra is one of evenly matched foes. Vast armies clash, but numbers alone do not decide the outcome of the struggle. For even the greatest of victories may rest on the actions of a single warrior. Yet whenever a great victory is possible, there is an equal chance for a great defeat. Thus you, who today have earned the name Tiger Claw, must enter each battle as your sword now enters the forge. You must know that you are the weapon that can make the difference, if you survive the fire. I am a ninja of the Arashikaki clan. I can be that weapon. You say can, not will. I sense doubt, young ninja. Not doubt, Iron Master. A question. If I am to fight for the forces of good, why is it that the outside world believes our clan takes no side in that battle? wish to know of the Sundering. I earned that right when I earned my name. Then listen carefully. For the conflict between we Arashikagi and the Red Ninjas who were once our sword brothers is part of that war between good and evil. And like that war, the story of the Sundering of our ninja clan can be seen in the actions of a single warrior. Know now the legend of our clan's two greatest ninjas, our two greatest sword brothers, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, and how they faced the four trials of the ninja. The first trial was Misu. The trial of water, which is shifting and formless, taking the shape of whatever confines it. A trial to demonstrate a ninja's understanding and mastery of strategy. The Sensei, Hard Master, gave each ninja a single goal and a single task. At the trial's end, each was to have the other's bowl, but without taking it from the other's hand. It was the first time Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow faced each other as opponents, but it would not be the last. Nor would it be the last time Snake Eyes was defeated by his sword brother. The strategy of Mizu is cooperation. The ninjas could not take the other's bowl, but they each could give their bowl to the other, so both could accomplish the task. But Storm Shadow made another choice. By taking the selfish path to victory that day, Storm Shadow endangered the friendship he shared with Snake Eyes. In other circumstances, that friendship could have been reclaimed in time. But Storm Shadow's choice and the weakness it revealed in him was witnessed by other eyes. Unknown to the elders of the Arashikage clan, our enemies had placed a spy among us. And there is nothing that gives our enemies greater strength than our own weakness. <laughs> Is that why Storm Shadow joined the Cobra Red Ninjas? Because of a single act of weakness? It was not a single act, young ninja. You have only heard the story of the first trial. Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow still had three trials before them, and much remains to be revealed. There is a fearsome enemy among us, whose name is Cobra whose purpose is to strike at our freedom and poison our thoughts. And though G.I. Joe and our warriors battle that enemy, all it shall take for Cobra to succeed and for evil to triumph is for one warrior to fail. 
But which warrior, Iron Master? You have told me how Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow faced the first of the four trials of the ninja. But did Snake Eyes fail because he was defeated in that trial? Or did Storm Shadow fail because of the way he won his victory? Tiger Claw, the purpose of the trials is not for ninjas to fight each other. The purpose is for each ninja to face an even greater enemy. The weakness in each of us. Thus, it did not matter that Storm Shadow had revealed his weakness in the trial of water. What did matter is what Storm Shadow would choose to do next. Because the spy was watching everything. Yes, the spy for Cobra. The red ninja called Shadow Strike. The time came for the second trial. Tsuchi. Ah, the trial of Earth, which is solid and supportive. Resisting change, but giving strength. A trial to demonstrate a ninja's understanding and mastery of the use of force alone. Because once their battleground had been fully prepared by Hard Master, that was all the two young ninjas were left to fight with. Once again, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow met in conflict. Not for the first time, not for the last. This day, it took only moments for Snake Eyes to see the truth within the second trial. To defeat your opponent in battle, defeat the battleground. But with Snake Eyes victory, the two sword brothers were equal again, were they not? Ah, but Storm Shadow burned with the steam of defeat. Storm Shadow turned his back on his own sword brother and chose the counsel of another. Unfit to wear the emblem of the Arashikat. The spy who had been sent by Cobra to find a weakness in the Arashikaki clan itself. A ninja who could be turned to the red path <laughs> and the way of evil. Oh, who would stand in their way? <laughs> Apologies, Iron Master, but I still cannot believe that Storm Shadow would choose evil because he failed a single trial. Did I say a single trial, young ninja? Of course, Iron Master. There were still two more trials ahead of them. The most important trials in the history of our Arashikaki clan. Because of those trials, more than a traitor was revealed. A hero was forged. of war howl and the storm of battle rages. Know that there are two forces in opposition. Cobra, who seeks only devastation and ruin. And the heroes of G.I. Joe, who stand against them. Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow are the greatest ninjas of our Arashikagi clan. True equals. So how is it that one could defeat the other in any battle? To answer that question, Tiger Claw, you must know the story of the third trial of the ninja. Kaze. The trial of wind, which can be forceful or subtle, striking from all directions, but always unseen. A trial to demonstrate a ninja's understanding and mastery of the bladed weapons that move as the wind itself. Did the trial prove that one sword brother had greater skill than the other? No ninja can face the trials without already possessing absolute skill. All four trials are trials of spirit. Because when two foes are equally matched, True spirit alone can tip the balance toward the good. And in the trial of wind that Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow faced, balance was the goal of every challenge.
understand now, Iron Master. It was Shadow Strike, the Cobra spy, who upset the balance and turned Storm Shadow against his own clan. No, young ninja. The lies and false friendship of Shadow Strike did not cause Storm Shadow to turn against our clan. All Shadow Strike did was offer a path. It was Storm Shadow himself who chose to take the first step upon it. Storm Shadow chose the path of betrayal only because he was angry with Snake Eyes? It was not Snake Eyes who angered Storm Shadow. It was Hard Master who broke Storm Shadow's sword. But Hard Master was Storm Shadow Sensei. He was more than that, young ninja. Hard Master was Storm Shadow's father. I. I did not know. That is because there is still one more story to be told. Of the last trial of the ninja. Only then will you know the truth of the lie that divides us. <laughs> to Cobra, the heat of battle flames the fire of destruction. But to G.I. Joe and those who oppose the forces of evil, that same fire is a crucible in which heroes are forged. Yet from the stories you have told me, Iron Master, enemies can also be forged in those flames. The enemies of the Arashikage arose from ancient hatred and deception. They are the reason our clan was sundered. And why some of our sword brothers chose the path of Cobra and the Red Ninja, turning their backs on our duty to defend those who cannot defend themselves. Did Storm Shadow choose the Red Path because he truly believes in evil, or only because he was angry with his father, his sensei, Heart Master? It was not anger that drove Storm Shadow from our clan, Tiger Claw. It was sorrow. The immense sorrow that arose from the last of the four trials of the ninja. The trial called Height. The trial of fire, which is a force of creation when used wisely, but a force of destruction when unleashed. A trial to demonstrate a ninja's understanding and mastery of fire in all its forms. this trial of fire, the lasers would not be weapons. They were to be tools. The two sword brothers were to use their senses to distinguish between what was real and what was illusion. Then use the lasers to destroy only that which was false. Snake Eyes did not know of his sword brother's treachery. He did not know there were others in the maze of deception. Because of sorrow, because of whatever power the enemy used to cloud his mind against his own clan, Storm Shadow has been convinced that Snake Eyes is our clan's betrayer. But if Hard Master was Storm Shadow's father, then was he not also the father who adopted Snake Eyes? Iron Master? Somewhere inside, Storm Shadow knows that Snake Eyes could never harm the father they both shared and honored. And someday, 
We'll figure out how to break Cobra's hold over Storm Shadow. Then he'll be welcomed back into the Arashikage clan and to the G.I. Joe team. Never! Listen well, Tiger Claw. Everything Iron Master said is a lie. Snake Eyes betrayed all Arashikage when he murdered my father. Since he is foolish enough to come to Iron Master's forge with only one other ninja, he shall finally pay for that betrayal. Who taught you how to camp ninjas? Kamakura. Keep counting, pal. If you'd like to beg for mercy, this would be the time. Someone will beg for mercy, Jinx. I assure you. Slice! Slash! Shadow Strike! What do you have to say now? No, Joe! Shouldn't we go after them? First, we'd better make sure this building stays in one piece. You never know when the next ninja to join G.I. Joe is gonna need one of Iron Master's swords. The next ninja to join G.I. Joe? Then... then I made it? I'm part of the team? Your trials are over, Tiger Claw. Think you're ready to join the battle where heroes are forged? Yo! Yeah!